Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tuesday Night Pro Scrims. Revan and Mr. X on the mic. Currently cursed. They are on Pro Scrim point here. They're up 4-1 to in the series, and it's another must-win map for Complexity here on Standoff CTF. Yeah, you know, uh, the last CTF was 6-0. I don't think we're going to see that right now. I think Curse is going to come out stronger than that. They've, they are been playing amazing lately you know they're just mm -hmm. since they picked up miracles they changed their whole teamwork completely i mean they've been pressing me so far all night long and mr x it's possible that we could see pro scrims end on this current map yeah out of all these players in the lobby who's kind of been your mvp of the night i think you'd have to say complex has probably been my mvp of the night you know he came up with probably the two biggest rounds of the whole night which was the two on one on meltdown which changes the whole map count mm -hmm. completely, and then also the two-on-one on Raid, which also changes that completely. Yeah, I gotta agree with you there. Complex, he's just been going clutch countless times for his team, especially on that search and strike meltdown. Pretty much initiated the comeback for them there, and actually, he's the guy I want to start off on board with here. Yeah, I think right now we're gonna jump on board with Complex, and you know, right now, I mean, we're in-game, and mm -hmm. Complexity's already at Curse's flag. All right, so it's gonna be Complex kind of leading the charge for his team here. He's making his way, finds one defender, but it's gonna be Twiz currently on a two kill spree. And take a look at this. Usually we've been seeing Twiz use a submachine gun more and more, but for capture flag, he's gonna switch to an assault rifle and two impressive kills there as he takes out Ace. Yeah, you know, they're just putting pressure on the complexity base. We see this all the time in CTF. The team that puts more pressure on the base usually wins, but you know, nobody getting those cutoffs back alley is gonna let all of complexity pretty much get to grandma with nobody going down. This could be bad for Curse. Twiz, he just needs to lock down this position. Stay tight, wait for your teammates to try to pick up the kills. Two grenades come in. It's gonna be complexity flooding through. Twiz gets taken out. It's gonna be X. does get the return, but Clayster, he's not the one running the flag. That's actually gonna be in the hands of TP. Now it's gonna be Curse's turn. Can they overextend in time? Complex, he's the first one pushed up. He gets taken out. Blindfire left all alone top window. Teep, he's gonna move for the flag out. But he gets taken out. Blindfire does pick up the kill, but now Clayster cleans that one up. He's going to oh, yeah, pick the flag the back up, earns his RCXD cart, and now he's pretty close RCXD to the house. Yeah, the RCXD is probably a mistake on uh, CTF, you know, but to still get closer to that Hellstorm and Lightning to pick both those up, almost like the last CTF, within the first minute of the game, that would be huge. You know what's something fun I've been doing from in Capture Flag for a long time now? Tell especially me. in League Play. I have one of my teammates running AGR. If okay. they acquire that, I pull the flag, and I just ride on top of the AGR. And they bring me home to victory. I don't know how effective that would be right Probably now. Probably not. <laughs> but uh, you notice Twiz rocking an AR. And now you see Miracles rocking an AR too. Uh, it looks like Curse is just going to run one submachine gun on CTF, which we don't see from a lot of teams. So that tells me that they want to be a lot more slay heavy and they're focused a lot more on map control because that's what the assault rifle players, that's their job in capture flag is to rack up those skills and hold on the power spots. So Curse, not looking good for them early on though as they haven't capped the first flag. Yeah, and you know, uh, so, something we see out of TK a lot on this map, one of the better teams in this map, we see they play extremely AR heavy on uh, the side with uh, Barn on red. And they'll have Sharp, or now they use Stainville currently because uh, he's playing with them at Infinity. They'll have them sit in top red and just try and acquire streaks until they get to this grandma side of the map. And then this is when they really push and try and get their caps. And here comes Complexity making another push onto the flag. That's three players currently down. Miracle's trying to make the defensive kill. Does so. There goes Scream 6 flag. Now drop Clayster trying to clean up the kill, but he cannot. So two clutch kills coming from Miracle. Says Curse, they do hold on to their base for the time being. You know, I'm extremely impressed with Miracle's AR play. You know, we haven't seen a whole lot of it. Even, I mean, since the start of the game, he's always been known as an aggressive submachine gun player. But his, his shot with an AR is extremely deadly too. Complex, I think he might be messing with the spawns a little bit from being over here. Nope, looks like they are going to get a normal gas station spawn, but he's going to be pulling the flag. Knows there's one over near the elbow side of the map, but he's actually pulling it right to where Clayster spawned. So Complex, he's got to start making some map progression with the flag. He cannot Complex, does clean up the kill in time, so the play is still alive. But on the other side of the map, Clayster is going for a catapult. This is going to force Curse to make a play. Yeah, you know, Curse, it, they, Curse has everybody flag. alive, which is smart, but they can't afford a stalemate right here. You know, the minute and 20 left, they're going to have to pick up some kills and get this flag back. All right, so I would say wait for Blindfire to respawn, try to go at it as a team. Twiz, of course, he can't push because 
He's the guy that has to cap the flag. So Complex, yeah. he's just going to wait around over near Wood, but he will slip by directly under him, actually. He'll find the kill here. So that's a good start for Curse as they're making their way for the return. Yeah, you know, uh, Complexity really doesn't have anybody on defense back near the flag. So if Curse can get up and make a solid push, I mean, they can definitely get this return. And now they got to rotate back to try to fend off their flag carrier. They do pick up the kill on the Aches. And Miracles, he's got a Hellstorm missile worker right then. It looks like he's going to be trying to get the Lightning Strike as well. So he's going to be the guy playing defense. And I think even going into the half down one flag, but with Scorcher control, that's going to put your team in a decent position. Oh, no, going into the second half, only down one nothing with score streak, score streak control would be huge. You know, that's not as big a disadvantage as, let's say, being down uh, two flags, I think, or or, or even top. I think you, I would rather have score streak control than actually have the game tied, to be honest. Uh oh, here comes Scrim 6. Does find the kill on the twist, but Miracles is still alive up top. You definitely don't want to feed him that war machine because this is a map where, you know, if you take control of that top sheet statue and especially moving to the half because that's where Curse is going to be pushing, you can pick off the guys, rotate back the flag fairly easily with that war machine. Yeah, you know, picking up that war machine right there is huge. You know, it's an extremely difficult spot to get that flag out of. When they get it back there, and especially when you're playing a team that has mostly AR heavy players with three AR, it's extremely difficult to get that flag out of there. You think that, um, Complexity know that Miracles has some streaks to work with here? I, I, I would say they probably do. I mean, I, I would like to pull up the scoreboard and see what kind of like his point situation is. He's got 1775. I just okay, yeah. So 14 so, and 4, yeah, 14 yeah, you and got four they would have to know Security he has streaks right now. But you know, you can't really change the way you're going to play j because that one person has streaks. Mm -hmm. You have to be aggressive and you still have to try and get caps. You're only at one to nothing. Yeah, you don't want to play scared here, but Krim, at least he's got an RCXC to work with here. Yeah, he's got that RCXD, and you know, this isn't a bad spot to call it in because you can get that guy <laughs> right out behind packages. Where are you at? Oh, Trim 6. He's going to find one down low. Now he's going to make his way up top with RCXD. We'll actually find someone here if he keeps going. And there you go. He picks up kill on the kill. blind fire, and that's an important kill. Yeah, you know, that's actually a pretty big kill, and it, it looks like there's going to be four down for Curse. And, you know, that's not a bad play. It's kind of, it's actually, you're going to force both streaks out of Miracle. That's and awesome. That's that's extremely unfortunate for Curse that you have to pop both of those right now. And you still don't even have the flag return. The flag is still out pretty far away from the base. The play is still alive. Krim with the cover fire. Aix, he's going to be trying to get this one away. So despite Miracles calling in both of his score streaks, Aix is able to capture the flag for complexity. They go up 2-0. to zero. And Miracles, he's got to use his war machine here as his team. They're trying to go for at least a counter pull or something. You know, regardless, when you use both score streaks like that, you got to make something happen after. Yeah, you know that when you use both score streaks and you don't get it back. That's extremely unfortunate. Uh, in that situation, you probably you probably could have hovered the Hellstorm yeah. and not went for the kills right away, let your team get in better position because I believe they were all spawning in right there. But, you know, it's extremely unfortunate for Curse that you can't get the flag return with those streaks used. But I think this is definitely the best case scenario for Complexity right now. You got Aix, he's working towards streaks, finds the wall bang down our Miracles. But even though he doesn't even earn streaks right there, he burns, well, they burn two flag stopping score sheets from Miracles, and they capture the flag in return. They're very happy with that trade. Oh, yeah, you're extremely happy with that trade. And you know, uh, from Curse, that's that's pretty much what we were talking about with their CTF game, is that right now they, they really don't know how they want to work those situational plays, or maybe they just haven't talked them out amongst themselves. So, you know, I, I expect stuff like that to get cleaned up as time goes on. Complex trying to be a sneaky beaver, but Aix was all over it there as he's able to stop the aggression from him. And if you're cursed right now, you're definitely still in the game. Complexity, they don't have any score streaks to work with. And Miracles, he's still got the War Machine to uh, try to pick up some kills around the map. But you got to step up the aggression here. Maybe switch two of your Assault Rifle guys to subs deployed. and try to be a bit more, yeah, more present around yeah, the map. Yeah, I think you need a little more sub pressure on the map. You know, I believe Twiz actually just switched to a sub. And right now, down two mm -hmm. flags to nothing with... Two minutes and 30 seconds right now is probably where I would probably start running about three subs. And I would try and get as much pressure as possible. And if you can just keep applying pressure on the base, I think you can get a cap. Flag. And Aix knows that since Curse, they have to be more aggressive. They can't afford to rotate back and clear out their base. So he's going to capitalize by sneaking through. And he's going to be pulling the flag. Does find Complex here. Smart play by Aix right there. Is able to find that kill. You see Twitch trying to go for a counter pull himself. Is able to find one there as he takes out Teep. So Curse. They are trying to make some plays happen, but they have to get this return. They cannot afford to still me. Yeah, and I was just about to say, right now is where you'd want to use the War Machine with Miracles. You know, this this could be extremely deadly because you have... Oh, that's that's not, that's unfortunate. Because he's spawned right there and he had the flinch too. Oh. It looks like Complex is going to get this return. Oh, no, Grim nope. takes him out. Yeah, he got stopped just short. And who's this for Complexity? Clayster finds the kill, will get the return. 
complexity. They're going to cap another flag as Grim6 earns his RCAC one more time. This is looking better and better for complexity as time goes on. Yeah, I mean, you're just seeing big kills being made across the board for complexity. I mean, we we're see, I mean, T TP making big plays. Uh, Klaser with huge return kills. And another RC kill from Krim. I believe it was second one on the yeah. BL Fire. So, you know, right now, uh, Curse. I mean, if they're down 3-0, oh, it's, it's the match pretty much over, but you know, you, you can't get desperate, down. you gotta keep playing, and I mean, you can't keep overextending, because then you're just gonna give up more caps. I mean, once again, they're not getting completely outslayed, it's only by no. a couple of kills. It's mainly the teamwork and the timely kills at the base on the flag carrier, getting those clutch returns at the exact moment when your flag carrier is going to capture the flag. Yeah. That's all going in favor for complexity. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you can you can point the they're actually first pull of the game as a perfect example of this when they had they got all four down for complexity. They pulled the flag and then I, I believe they had everybody like packages side and nobody cut off back Allen. You let everybody from complexity get to grandma and pull the flag directly at you. And I mean, since then they really haven't got control of the map again. Another must-win map for complexity. This time they're gonna take it and some. Pretty good fashion, you know, three caps to maybe one here. I mean, it doesn't really actually know. Flag does get pulled away from Crimson. So three to zero for Complexity. I mean, they won raid by six to zero. They only got half the caps here, but yeah. still a great performance. Yeah, they only got ca half the caps here, but this game is a lot close. This game, this, this game is a lot closer than the score set. You know, I, I, it could have went either way. You know, that first cap for Kurtz could have been huge. I mean, you don't know if somebody acquires more streaks off of that or if... They, they use even Miracle the Streaks a little more effectively. I mean, it could have changed the whole outcome of the game. Okay, so Complexity looks like Capture Flag is really their go-to game mode when they need a win. They've been struggling a little bit on a hard point, and Search and Destroy, they almost won the last one, but Meltdown, I mean, that was all the Complex show. Once he got those Streaks going, he caught fire and just dominated everyone. Yeah, I mean, Complex and BL Fire have really been on fire this whole series, especially I mean, Search and Destroy, uh, BL Fire went huge in Raid, controlling that middle, and Complex, I mean, going huge all night with his clutch rounds. Well, if I'm Complexity, the next map I want to choose is probably Yemen, Yemen Hardpoint. Yemen Hardpoint probably would be the one. It looks like the next map will be Raid Hardpoint. Can Complexity hang on once again as Curse? They only need one more map to close out Pro Scrims. Quick commercial break. When we come back, more Call of Duty action here on Major League Gaming.